start the recording. Uh, welcome everyone. Welcome to the Kiosk Valley Working Group meeting of July 14th. And uh, it's pretty light today. Get yourself to the meeting minutes. And the first thing on the agenda is revision of old metrics. So I see, uh, let me share the screen. Want to share your screen with us? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Okay, can you see the screen? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the first item on the agenda is uh, this uh, revision of old metric, which is this one. Uh, labor investment. Okay. Yeah labor investment so kevin pointed few things uh link to the defined metrics to the old one like the one which we have referred in the objectives so i've done some work on this maybe you all can hop in and take a look at this one the second link okay. I've made some changes based on the Kevin's feedback for this uh, uh, labor investment metric on Kevin's feedback. So if, and if you all can take a look and see, you know, accept the changes, maybe then I'll submit those things. Oops, I was looking at the other list and not the changes to accept, so. Give me a second, I'll find the right thing to look at. Okay, yeah, it's a Google Doc I created where I made the changes based on Kevin's feedback in this, this page. Okay. So when we're talking about costs here. So it's so we're looking at the hours of labor it would take somebody to fix it, but we're not looking at what a given enterprise pays per year on open source overall, it's specifically to each task and then how much how, what labor hours go into it. Is that the idea? Yes, we are focused on the labor hour through their employees dedicated to open source. Boy, I'll be I'll be honest, I don't love this metric. <laughs> and the reason is is because I don't feel that there's enough specificity in it that somebody could actually do anything with it. So for example, like some of our metrics are much more localized, like age of an issue, like, and there's maybe some nuance in there, but this one, it feels like we're just kind of pushing it off to an open source program manager and saying, here, you know, just you go ahead and, and take a look at all these hyper complex things and you draw them together in a way that's meaningful to you. Like we don't give any guidance other than just saying you should go out and track how much it costs you to have a person work in open source. I just the level of specificity is so low to me. Yeah, because we don't have the cost calculation from the organization and it varies from organization to organization. 
So what if you, I mean, if you changed it from labor investment to man hours? Yeah. I mean, just because at that point, you can at least calculate the number of hours a person spends on something. And then you would, I mean, I like that better because then you would at least have like a 10 hour a week <laughs> thing. Yeah. You can do whatever you want with it then. Like yeah, getting, getting dollars boy, is going to be really hard. Getting dollar costs going to be hard. Getting, getting, I've got, you know, X people who are full time and Y people who are 10 hours a week on this particular task or whatever might be a lot easier than actually trying to find the numbers and then more universal across entities. You don't actually have to worry about, yeah, well, Google pays a, a junior engineer 150 and Amazon pays them 180, right? We can just look at. Right. The number of the time commitment, not the dollar commitment. Yeah. And we don't like this metric. We don't, if we, if to your point, Stephen, if we were going to do the dollar part of it, like we don't give any guidance as to how to do that. <laughs> we just kind of say, go do it. Meaning, I, oh, meaning but, that I agree with you that we should probably just no, take. No, I, I, I get it. What I'm, I mean, I suppose if we wanted to do, it's it's still hard, right? Because you could you could go grab, you know, Indeed or Glassdoor or somebody else and say, okay, in general, a, a community manager position advertised makes blah a year and therefore these many hours but I think even then you're kind of going down a rabbit hole I think hours is universal I mean how much does it cost to teach classes in your department Stephen <laughs> you know like that's kind of what this question is <laughs> uh, yeah my my salary versus somebody else's salary. but what I can say what most universities would say right is you know you're it's an x credit hour course yeah it's an sch generation yeah yep which has nothing which is not tied to cost it's the number of sch per student credit hours that the unit generates and then per faculty right so then in that case the student credit hours is really just the hours spent right or, or you extrapolate that for every Every credit hour awarded, a professor generally puts in, yeah. uh, you know, a, a multiplier of two or four or whatever. Yeah, there is some some. I, I know what you're talking about. Like one credit hour equals three hours of work or something like that a week. Like, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I mean, we could possibly change this. That is labor investment is the number of hours yeah. all allocated yeah or, or we just replace labor investment with number of hours yeah and then we could make a, a comment Stephen. like it doesn't even have to be in the metric but like in the i don't know somewhere in the objectives or description that's something along the lines of you could average these within a unit at your organization yeah you know what I mean? Which is what we yep, do at yep. the university. Yep, that makes sense. But that's about, I think that's about the extent of it. So I've always thought this metric reached way too far with too little guidance. So if it, if it gets flipped to hours. man hours invested or whatever to, to, to work on open source, does that fix most of the issues? It would for me, because that's a fairly, I think that's a fairly straightforward calculation. Yeah. When in fact, I mean, I don't know, a, a lot of the organizations I know actually specify that for their employees ahead of time. They, they will say you have 10 hours a week dedicated to working on project A. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's not even like a, often it's not even a post hoc calculation. 
it would be something that's kind of predetermined in the works specification specifications of the work description for an individual or or you know system wide at a project right you know hey in the next software development sprint we expect in the next two weeks you know this team will do this stuff right yep Right, which could account for 40 hours from this team. How you as a team allocate those <laughs> is up to you. <laughs> I don't particularly care. Yeah, I, does this make sense, Vinod? This would really dial yes. this back, which is way better. If I'm trying to like add a narrative in the description that from a uh, labor hour, you can calculate the cost. Yeah, I mean, from the number of hours you could calculate a variety yes. of things cost being one of them the number the other would be you know percentage of to steven's point the percentage of team time focused on a project um understanding of of like burstiness or sprints like how hours change over time There are a variety of things then that you could use this for. And then the other thing that this does is it it gets us off of, it actually gets us off of this kind of sort of looking like a metric model. Because right now it sort of looked like a metric model. Like here are the other metrics that you use to calculate this thing. But then we would just be saying it's just the number of hours. Parameters. So this all will go away. Hourly labor rate. What's that? Which one? Parameters. All right. Let me go down there. Uh, where are you? Oh, parameters include. Yeah, I think so. I think those just are removed. And labor investment goes away too. Yeah. The one below it. Should we keep the average labor hours to create the contribution? We are focused on the hours. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Sure. Investment for each contribution time on the number of contributions. Uh -huh. We're revising this metric like away from, <laughs> we're revising it all the way into a new metric. <laughs> yes, so this feels like this is no more and labor. No, it doesn't. I mean, at this point, I feel like we may want to. If we, if we follow this approach, which I prefer, like we may just want to remove labor investment as a metric with the intention of creating a new metric called, you know, hours worked. Uh, hours worked. Uh, you know, whatever, hours work. whatever the title would be, but the, just the hours. How about this one? Employee hours booked. Yeah, on on project maybe. 
on open source project. Yeah. Isn't it too long a title? Mm, we don't have limits on title length. Like. Yes. So no. <laughs> I mean, we're just okay. starting there. We can add, modify it, you know. Okay. So maybe the action item Vinod could be yeah. have you kind of work through I'll, it. Yeah. Yes, I'll yes. Okay. And bring it back in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Kind of on this note too, we do need to to speed up the process of metrics review a little bit. It seems like it's slowed down. I don't know how many have been reviewed in the value working group. So far, one uh, Kevin took the responsibility to review and provide feedback. What needs to be done? So he has done one, and uh, once he has done it, so I took it and then I made the desired changes in it. And bring it back to the community. So, is it the one we just looked at? Yes. So how many? Are, but we have a lot. So I mean, we have yes, three or four that needs to the revision. So I mean, I propose that maybe we probably need to speed this process up a little bit. Okay. Is is the delay uh, historically related to summer, or is this new? No, so you are correct. Summer is historically a our our like attendance and meetings goes way down in summer. Um, the pace of work <laughs> slows way down in summer. I mean, so I mean, rightfully so. And and as we approach August, you know what that generally means, like yeah, even dead, <laughs> even further <laughs> slow down. So um, no, I the point well taken. Um, that being said, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we should still try. I'm just, I'm just curious. Yeah. You know. No, no, no. It's certainly not an anger thing on my part. I understand summer is summer, and I'm, I'm guilty of it too. Um, and so, but maybe, maybe we could, at least I could take a look at maybe one other metric. Yep. Prior to our next meeting, you know, I'm looking at value. We don't have a ton of metrics, so and it looks like a few of them might be candidates for metrics models anyway. Yep. We have moved one project popularity to metric model. I created a pull request for that uh, yesterday. Okay, I'll take a look at organizational influence. Okay. 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 Thank you, Matt. Uh, yep. And, uh, so others are like uh, we have put some who uh, what are working towards value feed, like we have sort of drifted a bit. So can you share this before we go to the other issues? What's it? We take a look at. Do we have any open issues or PRs? We probably don't. Uh, we have some issues that needs some decision whether we are going to work on them or not it's like this one is very old one i 
like to get to know the whole thing that we yep. you want to do with this issue. Well, okay, so this maybe we could hold on to this for a second. Because I have an issue, a topic, just kind of, I don't know if the three of us can decide it, though. Well, at least the three of us can talk about it. And so my, my issue is, is irrespective of, of this issue or the PRs that we have open, like, what are, what are we trying to accomplish in the value working group? This is the one working group that I feel has uh, kind of changed course the most times in the history of chaos. Yeah. So like I look at some of the metrics that we have um, have released and they come from a certain era <laughs> of this working group. And then I look at a different set of metrics and they come from a different era of this working group. And then you know, there's kind of like sta stages of this working group and I feel like it, um, kind of hurts a little bit. Hey, Steven, can you mute for a second? I'm getting a lot of feedback on your... Oh, I'm sorry. There's somebody... Like a... It sounds like a fan or something. I don't seem to be moving. Hold on a so... sec. Yeah, that's a lot better. Yep. I don't know what it was. Like a air conditioner. Not uh, a fan, maybe. So I don't I think we need to really decide within the value working group what what we're trying to accomplish. And part of part of the value working group to me, I think there is interest in how we understand value from the projects we contribute to and the projects that we support. Um, I also look at the people who are on this call, Stephen, in particular, and his work with OSPOs, um, particularly at the university setting. And like how we we may want to have a very specific focus towards helping the university OSPO, at least in, in this case, or helping just OSPOs in general. Um, like, like that's really what we're focused on in this work group, period. Um, and so I, I think we need to, to kind of organize our work with that goal in mind. So like, for example, in diverse in the DEI working group, there's the the badging programs and we're always focusing on that and trying to improve, you know, like global efforts within the chaos project. So there's always like kind of these things that we're working towards by which metrics play an important role in in those those things. <laughs> um, and I don't feel that we have risk is the same way. Like they're looking at, at dependencies and ecosystem risk. And then there's metrics that help kind of reveal <laughs> the risks that are help reveal those risks. Um, and so I, I think we probably want to have a similar focus here, which is like yeah. hospos matter. <laughs> and so how do we help them? <laughs> and what are the metrics that we need to build to get that done? I don't know what people's so, thoughts are on that. Uh, if we think of just OSPO, then it becomes broader. If you're thinking of academic OSPO, then it will be more, more even focused or that's. Yeah, um, I kind of, I'd be interested to see what, what Stephen thinks just in terms of the proposal one and then the focus or some scope. Makes sense to me. All right. So the focus makes sense to you. Do you have thoughts on like OSPO broad versus OSPO university? Is this, I mean, you're on to do as well. So obviously you, you have a foot in both, both areas. Yeah, I think so too. So then I think we need to, if you're still typing, I'll wait, but are you still typing? A lot of such, oh man, okay. I don't know what that is. Mm -hmm. So how can we 
So I think the thing making noise has stopped. So yeah, is this okay. better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You're, all, you're all good. All right. So I mean, you know, I of course think it's a good idea because that's what I'm trying to do in part with the summit. But there, there are lots of nascent things out there. So Amanda's with Google, and and, and a lot of the stuff that people are talking about. Um, is, uh, you know, not, not only metrics in general, but especially trying to figure out metrics and analysis for the, the harder to determine, um, you know, community related stuff, yeah. et cetera. Um, and so, some of the people coming to the summit are going to be talking about the um, are going to be coming from the academic side, and some of them are going to be coming from the industry side, and that's one of the main things we're going to be talking about. I'm trying to find a link to Amanda's stuff now. Um, so she did some taxonomy work around um, trying to identify different contributors to start trying to figure out um, I mean this is this is like one reference to her stuff okay let me drop it into the chat once I find the right window to come back to the zoom in. Here we go. All right, so where did the chat window go? Problem with multiple screens is that sometimes zoom just drops where it yeah. wants to. Um, all right, so here's like Amanda's taxonomy or a reference at least to this credit thing that she has put out there. Um, I can't find anything better. She did some presentations. I think she did an ospology section on it. Let me see. I'll find a link to that. So does does Amanda Amanda's part of the group in Vermont? Is that correct? So uh, Google is working with yeah. them, yeah. So okay. she's she's part of that. So I've talked to her before. I think we had her on. Actually, we had her on a podcast, a Chaos Cast. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, so I know, I know. There's that. I know the guy Karthik Graham in Berkeley. Yeah, I know Karthik real well. Um, so he's coming to talk. Um, there's this guy who is new to me till I stumbled across his stuff, who's also coming to this, the um, the summit. Um, I'm trying trying to find his link right now. Good morning, Sean Goggins. There he is. If you're saying hello, but I said good morning, y'all. Yeah, I wasn't sure if we were going to do this one this week. Been a couple that have been pretty lightly, lightly attended. Test your minutes in for your show. All right, I can I, I will see him find on the screen. The guy's name that I'm looking Thank for. So, Sean, just so you know, what we're talking about right now is the focus of the value working group. And so which of the five or six that we've had are we? Yes, there have been about? so many iterations on this that it's <laughs> yeah. the time that we just kind of, I think, we focus. That's, that's just what we need. And um, yeah. And so my point, my point was like in the DEI working group, we're like working with all in, we have the badging projects, we have, you know, our, our self-reflection, 
um, in, yeah. in the risk working yeah. group, you're thinking about ecosystem health and how dependency, like you're, you're, there's an aim for many of the working groups to which metrics play an important role in that aim. Right. And um, in the value working group, I'm just trying to think about what like our overarching aim could be like what are we like going towards and the suggestion was uh in support of ospo work so specifically around academic ospos and or uh industry ospos so the, our overarching goal is is trying to connect with the conversation you are sharing your screen Vinod, to connect mm -hmm. with um the overarching goals of what OSPOs might be trying to accomplish and how we in the chaos project can help <laughs> fulfill those goals wherever we can. Right. Right. So I don't know what you think of that kind of. Approach. It certainly has been of, of the things we've discussed the last six months. I think it's been the most dominant of them. Uh, and, and I think it's a good choice because we have interest in, in that area. Okay. I would like to see us not as a project, not as the value working group, but as a project, I think the internet is a social good and centering DEI in open source projects, which I think part of that is what we're doing in the badging program and the DEI working group. But I think it's also um, like, it's a thread that really is coming into play in a lot of the discussions related to value right now people are asking for how do I measure the, for example, cost of making the, the open source software that I use more secure? You know, how do I evaluate that cost? And that often requires community. And, and so that often requires a, an effort to, to advance diversity, equity, and inclusion in some way. And so there, there are these concerns that are intertwined with, with DEI as the center of a project, not necessarily the metrics in DEI, so I know those are two other things, or maybe there were three, that I think are, are areas of frequent discussion that we don't have homed anywhere. I'm not saying they should be homed in value. I'm just mm -hmm. saying some pieces of all of those have been homed in value, and it would be good if they had a, a place to be discussed. Mm -hmm. But but I don't we I don't know that we can facilitate another working group right now. But I think maybe oh. there needs to be some kind of a separate matter and I'll bring it up at the community meeting okay. that, that maybe there needs to be some kind of um, uh, task force -y ideation discussion group periodically or asynchronously. I'm not totally following, but well, we have all these, we like social good um, is one and then advancing uh, you know, how do we explain what it costs to do things in open source or what the value of open source is so that policymakers and others can decide how and where to assign resources. And whenever you're trying to evaluate the cost or, or of doing something like making open source more secure, I think you're immediately then coupled in with how do we create healthier communities because those are required to sustain to sustain that security and those are all topics that have been in the working group in the value working group historically at one point or another and have just not landed anywhere oh, as a right as a place as a place where there is a center for the discussion right None of that aiming is at something yeah and, and i think they're very actually they're good aims and they're aims that there is growing interest in in addition to university aspos so my argument is not to not do this. I think it's a really good idea. My point is just to that, that somewhere we need to set aside these, these other considerations that have come through the value working group. And I think, yeah, I think because they, I don't, I don't know why, but they don't get traction and they need traction because actually some of them are really important. So why don't, so maybe then let me propose this, that we, um start more deliberately connecting with uh the to-do group 
we know Anna quite well, and obviously Stephen is part of the to do group. Um, and just kind of spend time listening to what the goals are from the to do group. I do have a meeting with them next Friday, part of an in person event that Anna's putting together. Okay. So I can just listen. Be, a good, be a good listener and try to. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, Bernard has this up. And so, same with. Um, same with maybe Stephen. Do you know if the um, the Vermont group if they have regularly scheduled public meetings? So the Vermont OSPO, no. Oh. Um, what's the the link between Amanda and Google and the Vermont OSPO? I think is is that. The Google team is doing a study of them. I see. So okay. Go together. Okay. Um, I did drop in the link in the chat the link to um, you know pull request to do a session with. Yeah, um, I got that. And then I also put a link to Amanda's presentation she made on the work. Okay. Kind of role identification. Um. So are the is OSPO are the OSPO plus plus sessions still occurring? The OSPO plus plus sessions won't reboot till September or October. Okay. Um, they did get funding. Um, but so they're going to be able to be more organized about what they're doing. And um, you know, I think going back to those when they start might not be a bad idea. So I'm so then I'm trying to think of Sean to your point like if we in the to do group sessions they are not public but you obviously are a member Stephen so there's there's the public Slack channel yeah but the meetings the the steering committee meetings are primarily about running the to do group right I, I, okay so they're just about like the mechanics of the group itself. For the most part, yeah. Okay. Um, you know, the stuff they, they put out there on on OSPOs and reports and all those kinds of things. And, and you know, I think there's value in at some point. But you're there. So, I mean, you can right. be like the liaison for that right, right. listening session. Um, you know, everybody everywhere is talking about metrics analytics how do we prove there's value in this how do we pre predict what stuff is going to cost whether it's oh. on the industry side about money in hr or whether it's on the academic side about rpt issues and, and how sure. to support this stuff yeah. right so so it's not like there are and and all of this is the motivation for putting that summit together is to say you know you guys are having the same conversations in different rooms yeah you're using different labels but it's the same stuff and obviously sean you're there and steven obviously you're there yeah well i'm not really there i'm in a, i'm in one small discussion i'm not in any regular to do group discussion no no no. we're talking about the we're talking about something else at this point the, the, you're going to be there at the summit is what we're the talking summit. about yeah yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I like all these ideas. I think they still belong in chaos um, as, as different areas of discussion, and it's just finding the right one. Well, that's that's just um, it. So what I what I kind of proposing is that we spend time like at the summit. We spend time yeah. at, at this on the Slack channel and we spend time with OSPO plus plus when it starts back up in September, or October. And I, I just think we have to, to listen a little bit as to what the needs are from the OSPOs. So I think, I think if you do that listening and then set yourself up for an OSPOlogy mm -hmm. presentation in October, yep. there's not going to be one in September because half the people who would be engaged you're going to be in dublin so they're not you know there's a there's a real opportunity we could set up like we could get up 
I, I could see for kind of an, an ad hoc meetup in Dublin. Birds of a feather, probably. Yeah. To kind of do that also. Um, Cause, Cause if we do, if we start kind of listening to what the OSPOs need, then Sean, I'm hoping that to your points of all the things that have come through value over the, the many iterations and many years, that, yeah. that many of them can actually find a home in this conversation and the conversation that we're not listening to real well right now with respect to OSPOs, or we could do a better job listening to. Yeah, I think there's there's a bit of a disconnect here too between the software components of chaos and the and what you're talking about. So, this, a Augur and Grimoire Lab are paying very close attention to these discussions and doing things to, you know, implement metrics that are relevant for for these questions. Right. I I, I think what's what's not really happening is because that engagement is that we want to solve a, at a, at a we want to solve a problem level that it's not getting to the metric working groups and and this is sometimes when i say really the center of chaos is moving in a pretty there's a pretty hard pull toward give me some software i can use to make this real that's where i'm seeing that from because the aspos are are not asking for metrics they're asking for show me and tools and so it's not no that's good or bad it's it's um but value seems to have been the fulcrum working group where all that spins so even if they are asking show me the tools but for showing the tools we need the metrics to show them those tools so i think if i think if you took a hard look at grimoire lab and auger you'd see that they've already built a lot of metrics um, without and tools without the metrics being formally defined yep. because we can't keep up or get it moved through a working group fast enough. So let me make a proposal then that for the next like meeting, um, we can continue to take a look at like revisit the metrics that we have. All right, we'll see you later. But we spend um, really the majority of time thinking about how to strategize our <laughs> listening tour of OSPO needs and software. Point well taken, Sean. And you know the software folks who have been doing this. Um, and this would include things like you know what are we trying to accomplish at the summit that's coming up in at rit what would we hope to do at oss eu like to your point uh birds of a feather um what we would hope to accomplish through the ospology an ospology presentation like i think we just need to get out there a little bit more yeah yeah and it's the, been a, it's been a hard period for that the the summit will will have breakout sessions on thursday right Okay. One of, and they're all around the topics of the different panels. So one of them would be talking about this stuff with both industry and academia. What what do we need to do? Let's see. To to determine the value. Yep. And then I'd like to it like instill in those discussions that chaos can serve like it sounds terrible, but like as a resource to help solve those problems. Yep, and, and we can and we would talk about those here in the value working group. Like this is where that, and so there's a there's a group there's a there's a foundation a community, <laughs> a group of people. So so the ideation can occur at um, like the summit in these breakout sessions, but really making it important to know that the in the messaging that we can help yep. to solve those problems. Through and then, software. then you know, hallway track and maybe birds of, birds of a feather session in Dublin, and then in October, November, doing an ospology thing that says, you know, and and a lot of the ospology things are like one person saying, "I'm going to tell you a thing," right? 
here's what I've been working on, or here's how we handle this issue in my company or whatever. But I think that chaos doing an ospology that says, you know, we've been having these conversations at these various events at the last X number of months, and here's what we think people need, and here's how we think we can be a resource, but also tell us if there are things we're missing, you know, and, and yeah. start coming to our meetings, right? That that's kind of a logical funnel. Yeah, let's sort it out here. That's a, I like that. Okay. Um, I don't know what, what different should... action or item for the next meeting should be for us. And and I, I hope this is good. I mean, I hope by sh by being invited by you guys to get involved with the agenda of academic metrics plus being involved with the do group, I hope that I haven't inadvertently hijacked things, right? Um, if if no, my concern was there was not much to hijack. Okay. <laughs> we <were quite> <laughs> The mailman's at my door, so that's why I'm muting. Yeah. I mean, I think the way that I'd put it, I added an agenda item to the general meeting next week is really, is there necessary metrics work we might focus on that is more important than current working group focus focuses? Um, and that includes that list of strategies for aligning software implementation to address OSPO needs and metrics working groups where the deployed metrics may not yet exist um, and some examples and then the exact text from the examples from the working group where things have existed before i mean i think the you know i'm having these conversations with hospo people because they're engaged with the software and i'm having them with daniel um, from my perspective this isn't anything that i mean we should be exploring it but i think there's also some places where perhaps there's just people pulling different members of chaos into these directions because they're useful and maybe as a project it's time to step back it a little bit and listen and see see if perhaps there are some things that are rising in importance and some things that are waning in importance um values i think something that we just have to stick you know try to try to create a stable identity so it's holding on to something um evolution i think is perhaps run its most useful course um i'm i'm common's kind of a utility player but maybe maybe there are maybe the amount of effort in common is not as necessary as it was before um dei is handling a lot of different things that could maybe use separate attention. Um, those are just those are thoughts. Those are reflections. Yeah, no, those, are, those are fair thoughts, um, right? Just because, uh, I mean, I know we're out of time, but just because yeah. something like the evolution working group um, was important early doesn't mean that it needs to stay around forever. You know? Yeah, yeah. And, and the metrics are still valid, mm -hmm. and if we they're not invalid and um the D, to your point the dei working group does actually have a lot of like kind of ancillary meetings like there's a whole badging meeting that occurs that is not the dei main meeting you know what i mean so to your point there is yeah. kind of a lot of overflow into other meetings around dei anyway already so yeah and, yeah and yeah and, and there might be some things that fit in different working groups that, that can evolve and and whether value evolves or becomes named okay. something else, I don't know. Yeah, right. Right. Maybe it becomes named OSPO. Yeah. <laughs> OSPO help. <laughs> but I'm 100% supportive of the of the direction. The you know the I think I heard a OSPO direction. Was it a university OSPO direction or that? Both. I mean, that? Both. What? Yeah. Both. So, um, I, I'm 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 in favor I'm in I'm in favor of that. It's also, 
interesting or used, it's interesting to note though that the software projects and risk and evolution have been evolution doesn't not so much but risk has been paying a lot of attention to that like aspo has been the center of the work that risk has been doing um as well but from a different perspective um more ospo less no academic aspo at all right okay so music we, uh, See, I agree. I put an agenda on the general meeting for next week. Cool. Okay. Yep. So Feel free to add to or elaborate on that. All right, I'm going to go. All right, yeah. later. Thank you so Bye. much. Thank you for having me. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, all.